to another episode of Immerpreneur, where we learn from successful entrepreneurs. Today's episode features a power couple who takes their entrepreneurship to a whole new level by involving the family into the business. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome the newly promoted manager of Emory Philippines, Mrs. Blessing Batitis, and her husband, Mr. RJ Batitis. Welcome to the show, Mr. and Mrs. Batitis. Hello! Uh, hi! Thank you. thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much for being on the show. Well, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate both of you, especially Blessing, on your promotion to the, being a manager in Emory, Philippines. You are part of the recent tsunami of success stories that is happening in Emory worldwide right now. How do you feel about your rank advancement and what reasons do you think contributed to the phenomenal wave of successes experienced by Emorians worldwide? Well, at first, I'm so overwhelmed and thankful because we've been planning this for quite some time. We're just keeping it quiet because we wanted it to be surprised. But I'm so happy and overwhelmed because um, right now, every effort and every works are starting to pay off, especially with our Emery business, you know. Um, we've been praying and working really hard, me and my husband, to really work it out and do our thing and be there as soon as possible on the directorship. And for everybody who's been also uh, promoted together with us, I can say it's truly a, a domino effect, you know, because we just push one button and Many other Emerians are experiencing the, the, the joyness and happiness of being promoted and ranking and advancement on their board. Awesome. Well, Blessing, uh, your whole family is involved in the Emory business right from the inception three years ago, right? I mean, your parents, uh, Pastor Naftri did that all the way to your sister and brother-in-law, uh, Kyung and uh, Darlene in Brunei. Emory was still relatively new in the international scene back then, and yet your whole family invested in the Emory opportunity. Uh, risk management would tell us not to put all your eggs into one basket, but then your whole family did. Uh, tell me why take such a risk and stake the whole family's future with Emory? Well, at first, it's a, um, I can say we prayed for it. We prayed for it. The family, the whole family has been praying for two years before Emery came into our door, we are actually starting to pray for another opportunity because from the previous, it's it's not being easy for us. You know, We were having difficulty as a family, but I believe Emery is an answered prayer to our, to our, to our life, to, to my parents, Pastor Na, we as a couple. It's an answered prayer, number one, because we trusted Emery as a company. We trusted the management, Mr. Yap. We trusted um, Mr. Lau, Mr. Tan, and everybody on top. Um, we also trusted our dad's decision. It is actually my dad who told us that, okay, I believe Emery is it's the best decision for us to dive in, I can say. Because we, we entered into the business blindly. We don't even know... What's gonna happen next? It's not an easy decision for us as a family, especially we as a couple. It's not a it's not an easy decision. But if we don't try, we will not know that there's something on it. You know, there's always a a, a gray line of okay. We need to answer the question why and how. So that's the reason we. We, we jumped in from one company to, to Emery. And it's a very good decision that we, we made. It's the best one. For, for me, um, having second thoughts at first, but um, after, it was during a, a breakfast meeting back in June of 2018 when uh, uh, not really the company was introduced to us, but the product at first. So, in fact, uh, I had my reservation because I know that this is another 
network marketing, which I'm not really a big fan because my background, I was with the BPO or call center industry for the past 15 years, which I have a certain position that I've been enjoying. But after hearing um, what the product can, can do and could help, that changed my mind. Not really instantly, but I had to study it first. But after seeing the marketing plan of what they offer, which is totally different. This is different from what I've heard in the news that a lot of network marketing is actually a scam. That's why I had my reservation at first. But after seeing this, this is something that it's um, makeable. For us, there will be progress. Um, it will be hard to introduce first. But look at what or where are we at right now. Um, two years in the making. You have a new manager. Uh, me, I'm on the executive board. Um, it's really, um, it's really a, a judgment call, in fact, for us to be able to make and decide, okay, we do it as a family so that we would know what, would be the struggle and what we know, how we can accomplish things. And that actually started it with that breakfast meeting. I had to set aside what I was doing at that point to research on the product. And to my surprise, um, there's no competitor. So that's the advantage of the product. That's why that was my deciding part that let's, let's take advantage of this that this business could actually grow and bring you to further heights. Mm -hmm. Well, it must have been scary, but I'm glad that that actually worked out for you guys. No, Blessing, tell me, is it stressful for everyone in the same household to be doing the same business? Or is it actually easier or more advantageous since all of you can lean on each other for support and encouragement? It's a yes and a no. Yes, because we understand each other what we're going through, what we're experiencing, what are the struggle is because it's not a, uh, you know, it's not a walk in the park. <laughs> you need to experience downfall sometimes, but it's a good downfall because at the, 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 next, the, the next one is you know what you're going to do. But a no because it's, uh, how can I say this? It's a... Uh, everyday reminder especially from our upline my dad pastor daftrini dad that we need to be productive <laughs> we need to do our imagery every day we don't stop sharing we don't stop encouraging people so it's a bittersweet but it's an experience because many people are envying us that Oh, you're you're living with the legend, Pastor Nav. Oh, you're with the same 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 roof with him. But me, you know, um, being his daughter and also being his executive assistant, it is not an easy job for me because I have to juggle things. I I need to be a wife. I need to be a mother. I need to be her his assistant. You know, so it's a daily activity that I have to do like um what what do I need to accomplish today you know what I need to finish today um just recently I just finished studying online school so it's really a um journey to be with him you know to do business with him but I'm glad I'm doing Emery with my husband because before when he was in BPO time is really treasured for us because during that time he was working at night I'm alone, sleeping. Even when I was pregnant with Robbie, I was always alone because he needs to go to work. Sometimes I even cry, please don't go to work. I need you here. But he can't. He needs to go. But this time that we're doing Emery business together, it's, it's very, um, very fruitful at the same time. It's unhappiness for me because we're always together. You know, We do business together. We encourage each other. We even criticize each other after each and every table talks that we need to do. So 
it's a different journey. It's a different journey when you do business together as a family and as a couple. There are advantages and there are certain disadvantages. But you see me smiling with the disadvantages. The advantages would be, of course, the time. Um, that I didn't have when I was an employee for the past 15 years. I'm doing shifting schedules. So in a BPO, especially here in the Philippines, um, when you say BPO, you work round the clock, 24 by 7, um, odd shifts, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, 9 in the evening. You start uh, those times and end after 9 hours. So I've, I've uh, been to, towards that shift. So especially during graveyard. So you're up all night, you're asleep all day, you no longer have time to play with your kid. You no longer have time to spend with your wife. Um, during stressful days, you come, you, you, you come home, you don't really talk a lot. Uh, you're de-stressing. But with, with Emery, um, uh, the, the funny thing is, even if it's a stressful day, uh, you're not able to close um, a deal. You talk about your, your weaknesses. You talk about your strength. Um, you're, you're distressing while you're talking about those things. So that's what I really love on, on doing this business with the family. It's because everyone can share their um, ups and their downs so that, that you don't do it um, anymore. So that's actually the, the advantage of it. The, the, the only disadvantage would probably be you're, you're with her, so you can't really chit-chat with some of your uh, guys. Um, but um, that's the only disadvantage. Um, another advantage is I, could, um, I already have time to play basketball. I already have time to play with Robbie. I have time to play my... Uh, my Genies and Jewel or other games that I have, <laughs> that I, uh, the only things that I play on my phone. So now I have a lot of time to spend because with the Mary, to spend three or four hours in, in just a day focus with, with, with that. And you, I'm, I'm now earning more than what, what I'm currently being paid before. So with, with the, with, with, with just the stretch of just chatting and, and, and meeting other guys. So those are the advantage and the slight disadvantage, I would say, in doing the business with the family or with or as a couple. Uh, blessing, based on what you mentioned just now, how does this bring up your appreciation to your father? I mean, seeing as you are currently walking in his shoes and seeing how he struggled to raise all of you as a family, while sailing through the struggles of the network marketing industry? Well, for me, Gladys, I appreciated him more, especially now that we're also doing the same thing that he's doing. we experiencing things that he experienced. We touch the things that he's touching, you know. It's, 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 a, different, it's a different appreciation because... From the previous company, we're just like a shadow to him. He's the only one doing the business. We're just supporting. But with Emery, we also do business on our own. We need to earn our money on our own. So for me, I, I understand him more than before because I know the struggle that he's gone through, especially when we're growing up. From being a pastor to a network marketer, it's not an easy switch or it's not an easy multitask, I can say. Because before he doesn't know anything about business, he just he just know how to do the ministry. And also for us, we don't know anything about MLM. We don't know anything about network marketing. But truly enough, experience teach us to be more... You know, be more open with opportunities and at the same time, be more uh, sharing to people, especially now that we have this product that is very, I cannot, I cannot uh, describe it, you know, the, the, <laughs> the magic that it made, it, it, it gave to me as a, as a woman. So 
definitely the the appreciation is there because we 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 know what he's going through we know what he's experiencing because what that's what we're experiencing right now especially as couple there was this time that i drove him i not part of the the previous company because i was working with the bpo as i mentioned earlier uh, during one of my rest day, he asked me to go in um, somewhere north, probably a three-hour drive, um, and then I just drove in. I sat on the other table, um, eavesdropping on, on what they were doing, and then after a few hours, we went home, grabbed some dinner, and I know he was not able to close the deal. So before, um, for me, I was like saying, why spend more and more and more and more hours that you don't know that, that you already know that you can't close this so let's just go home so that was the frustration that he had that he can't share with us because i i don't think we would understand at first but now that's the advantage now we know what frustration is coming through and how to overcome that frustration or how to overcome that um, rejection. So those were the things that he was able to talk um, with us, to, to mentor us, to grow further. Um, I, I also remember um, things that he usually shared that I don't really appreciate before. But now because of doing this business, I started to realize that I'm, I'm getting what he was talking about before and just be patient on, on things and it will push through no matter how hard or how probably stubborn the person is they would eventually get it so i, I read now this is the time that I, I appreciate how pastor nap is 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 um guiding and mentoring a lot of people um, aside from us so now we're also doing the same thing um, bugging people probably or waking them up at, uh, late at night and saying there will be a promo coming up, things like that. So be ready. So th those are the things that we could possibly share um, as for him as a mentor. So that those are the things that we've learned um, and, and continues to learn from him. Okay, that's really, really wonderful. Well, RJ, um, you're also doing the Emory business, right? Yes. Okay, let me ask you, who actually convinced who to join Emory in the first place? Was it you who convinced Blessing or Blessing convinced you to join this business? On my part, uh, I asked her to join first, but the convincing part, probably she convinced me more. Uh, because uh, there was this China trip that I was included and I haven't invested any penny yet, but the generosity of the company who shouldered all expense paid trip uh, to Qingdao um, to, for the five days, four nights um, trip uh, where we learned what and who is in Mary, the factory uh, visit, um, how well equipped the factory is, how the warehouse is uh, quite empty at that time because a lot of people really are trusting the product. It means that it's actually um, um, a good problem for the company, as uh, as Mr. Lau always say it. So um, it was her who convinced me to join because I was quite skeptical. I did not even even joined the previous um, company that they are with because I really don't believe on the on the aspects of what they're doing at that point. And uh, aside from the dance energizer that they always ask me to do, which I'm not really <laughs> fan of. So, but at this point, I still don't dance. <laughs> you know this. Uh, she she was the one who who did convince me to join. Um, and, and the, the fruit of that was she was able to join at first. Um, when, when she was able to garner a lot of points through the Emery system, through the board being break, through her promo, being promoted as an executive, she was able to uh, save up um, for my registration. And that lead 
for me to, to be registered as a member back in February of 2019. So it only means one thing, that the system works. Um, earlier, it was because of the people. Now, um, it's, it's something that it's not really the people that you trust. Just trust the system. Um, the Emery, Emery system really works because it, it could lead you to the dreams. The people are there just for you um, to become your guide. People are there um, for you to look upon to on how they do it. But it's still up to you on how you will be able to do it. So that, that's, that's where we are currently. Well, a little confession to make. Um, the convincing part is like hooking him by what? Uh, there's this trip to, ja to, to Japan, to China. There's this trip to China. Then my dad asked me, do you want to come to Bingdao, China? Because the, the company is um, inviting us for, for us to see. Then I told him, no, dad, it's better for RJ to join. Because knowing him, he doesn't have a, any background about network marketing. He's even skeptical joining from the previous one. So I rather sacrifice my 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 slot for him to join in order for him to build the trust with the company. Because for me, it's no question asked. Eh. As long as you know Mr. Yap Wayan is there, I'm 100% trusting him when it comes to, to business. But for him, it's his first time. So I told my dad, no dad, let RJ join it. I wanted him to see what Emery is. I wanted him to to really feel what Emery can give to us. Then after he come back from China, he switched like that. You know, he's very crazy about Emery. He's very, he's very crazy about Bajing. He can even stop sharing about the company. That's what I wanted him to be like. Because if I'm the one who joined that trip, I will be the one to convince him to join. So I wanted it to other way around. Because People say if the husband is the first one to join or to invest in, it's the wife who will follow. That's what that I want. That's what I wanted him to be. I wanted him to be the first to be crazy about Emery, and that's what he is right now. Yeah, because the, I, I thought that all network marketing companies were scam. That's why I'm. A lot of network marketing companies was introduced to me way back. Uh, I just won't mention the names. Uh, sometimes the marketing strategy is a bit vague. It's like they'll be giving out leaflets and saying, looking for a job, things like that. But when you go there, you thought that it was just for an interview, or an initial interview. There will be dance energizer and something like "Welcome to this network marketing company." It's like it's that, that's why at that point uh, I said to myself, "I won't join any network marketing company because I know it's a pyramiding system. It's just a scam, and and the only thing who is getting richer is the one who's on top." That 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 that's what Emery proved me wrong. It's not really with the people, but it's really with the, the system. Absolutely right. Well, blessing. I, I guess your plan really worked to to let him join in Emery. <laughs> well, uh, RJ, now that you are actually in the business, how does it feel to be competing with your wife in doing it? I mean, did she give you a hard time uh, when she ranked advanced faster than you? Um. It's not really a pressure for me. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm happy because that's our plan to begin with, um, for her to be promoted first. Because the, 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 the beauty of the Emery business is it's not husband and wife uh, that you'll be sharing the income. But it's uh, both of you will be getting uh, what she is um, I'm getting now as a manager. I'll be getting it once I'll be promoted as a manager. So if she gets a car, I'll be getting my own car. If she gets a penthouse, I'll be getting my penthouse. So neighbors. <laughs> we, we could be neighbors. So that, that's a good thing about the Mary business. Um, whatever you have, 
um, the only thing that you'll be sharing is the experience. Of course, um, everything that I have, she'll be having. Uh, but other than that, she'll be keeping that. So whatever income that I have, she'll, she'll be keeping. She, she's my safe. But uh, the good thing about the Mary business is um, it's unlimited. There's no boundaries. Um, if she was able to become manager, I will become a manager. Um, Robbie, who, if ever that we register, Robbie will become a manager. My brother, who is a registered member, will also become a manager. So once she's done, the beauty about the business is she can register another account. That account could also become a manager. So that's the beauty of the, the Emery business. It's, it's, you can just handle one account or two accounts, or it doesn't ma matter how many of it. But the beauty of board breaking, it's, it's really amazing. It's break. Um, it, it, it might break you to a certain point of craziness. But the beauty of it is you, you could see a lot of people helping towards one another. When she got promoted, um, my brother-in-law, uh, uh, Kyung from Brunei, was promoted to the elite um, executive and soon to be manager. And somebody from Egypt become promoted, or, or Karima, I think, uh, she became promoted as an elite executive and soon to be manager. So imagine that beauty. In the middle of, or in the morning here in the Philippines and um, in Egypt, probably in Africa, most of the people are still sleeping because it was three in the morning. We're breaking the board. And when they open up their eyes, there's a new manager. Same thing with us. When we were sleeping and six in the morning when I wake up and I check my feed, there's a new manager in Africa or a new director in Africa. So that's the beauty of the business. Um, you're not forcing everyone to do so. but this is something that you could really cherish as, as part of a couple um, to do the business as, as a whole. So that's, that's, that's how I am enjoying it right now. So no pressure. Even if she becomes a director, I still leave as an executive, but definitely Yap will kill me if I'll be still in the executive uh, board uh, by this year ends. I don't want to be roasted alive. So yes, I'll become a manager hopefully by, this, uh, by, by the year end. No pressure. Definitely no pressure. Well, actually, what I'm trying to determine is to find that magical link between all the successful entrepreneurs. You see, every time that I interview or most of the people that I have interviewed in the past for the Immerpreneur Show, I discovered that most of the time, the whole family is actually involved in the business together. Um, even our partners, the two one-star directors, uh, Mr. Daniel Sakpe and Dr. John Mukwaro, um, it's a break from the traditional belief that the networking industry is a side income where the spouse does it to supplement the husband's income in a different industry or the husband is doing it as a side income while the wife maintains a homemaker status. Um, if I am looking at the trend in Emory, I might have to assume that if both the couples are working together, success is actually faster and sweeter. Um, do you agree with this, RJ? Um, yes, um, same with our principle, success breeds success. Because um, as I wish to, 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 to give in, to share, I've worked in the industry for about 15 years, the BPO or call center industry, and not, not even a manager post I was able to attain. But within Emery, less than two years, my wife was able to attain it with the same income of a bank manager, probably more than a bank, more than the bank manager's salary on on what she just got, um, and and more and more are coming. So this is really an advantage at, at this point to share success, especially if you're couples. Who would you share mm -hmm. your success first? Of course, it would be your partner, um, your wife or your husband or probably another family member uh, as a partner. So that, that's how actually the business work. And, and as, as the previous matter were, were being discussed that you don't share your business with a family member, that's just an old saying. Um, the new norm is share the business with your family and once everything is done, then share it to others. If you're, if you're really confident in sharing it immediately to others, then by all means, do it. 
uh, the, the the bittersweet of it is um, since I've been used to working at the corporate uh, industry uh, with the, the graveyard shift and, and things like that, um, my body was was still looking for it, but but my mind now is is focused on uh, okay, who are we going to help with? It's not that you're asking who you would be closing with, uh, but who are we going to help with? To succeed in this business next, uh, not unlike before when I was working with with uh, the previous industry, um, I was able to coach um, a lot of guys, and those guys would would appreciate on, on on how I was able to coach them at. But that's it. But here, this is a lot different. Here, it's a it's a matter of um, your success, sharing your success with the others. So I'm, I might I might be missing the the, the corporate world, BPO. but the BPO. But but now it's something that I'm enjoying with the time. With of course you can sleep at night, and not to worry to wake up uh, very early. You could wake up at late in the morning, probably eight or nine, and still have your cup of coffee while checking if um, another member comes in and if there's another. Um, amount that is credited to your bank account so so that's how simple emery is at, at first it might be hard but again um there's really no task easy at first yeah. um you just have to work it out work hard for it and everything will follow awesome well i guess the best benefit here is that you guys have more time on your hands right now and yet still uh reap the great rewards um, I would also like to touch on a more personal topic here, um, with your permission, of course. Blessing, from what I know, you had Picos for many years. And when you started taking the gene a couple of years ago, it had eliminated the Picos from your life. And now you are living with more confidence as an entrepreneur, a wife, and a mother to your pretty and beautiful Robby. Is choosing the right product in the networking company that both your husband and wife truly believes in is a key in determine uh, is the key and a determining factor in building the Emory business as a family. Yes, of course, Gladys. Because if you don't trust the product, how can you share it? Um, for me, being a uh, from being a PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome patient when I was still 16 years old, it's not an easy life for me having it. I mean, half of my life I had it from 16 up to 30s, mid-30s. I even got married with because, but having it is not, um, uh, how can I say, it's, it's, it's a very difficult life because having because has many branches, you know. If you have PCOS, you'll experience depression, you'll experience anxiety, you'll experience infertility, that it's not easy for women hoping and praying and waiting, you know, especially if you're being married for, for the longest time and still you don't have a kid or a child yet. It's not an easy journey for them. But for me, I experience difference because... Vagine changed me as a woman. Vagine let me feel again as a woman. Because before Vagine, I don't feel women. Um, I don't even feel that I will bear a child. You know, I even I even let go of that feeling of having a kid. My husband knows it. I cry every night until I give up. I told myself, okay, whatever. God will give us, then so be it. You will exp you will experience again the the um being a wife to your husband, you know, um enjoying couple life together. So I can say having the the product who is really working with you is much easier to share to others rather than it's just a business, you know. It's a it's it's really about the passion. It's really about the the advocacy that you have right now. Especially, many Filipino women are experiencing the same thing I experienced 
before. It's a past tense for me because I, I, you know, I fought it. I won. I won the Picos. So right now, my daily activity is I keep on sharing it to my friends because you don't even know who will need it. Like two week, two weeks ago, if 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 you will give me a time. Two weeks ago, I just keep on, you know, sending the the posters that the the email Philippines is sharing, and then suddenly one of my friends replied to me, "Wait lang, wait, I need this product. I have Picos. I don't even know that she has Picos, but because of sharing it, now that she's enjoying the benefit of it, um, that's it. Eh? It's 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 my daily. It's my daily air. I don't." finish my day without sharing the product because i know and i believe that many people women many filipino women needs it i mean we can help them to fulfill their dream having a child or even having a regular period it's a very different thing if you have a monthly period than having that you know but they cannot express the happiness that they're having because the experience of Vagine, ang, ang hirap niya i-elaborate. Awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, it's, not, it's not just the, the what you call the, the having menstrual period on a monthly basis. It's, it's not that. The, 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 Emotional battle, yeah. of course. You, that's that's the you got one it, thing. The emotional battle. Because when when you're suffering from from PCOS, if you're diagnosed with uh, PCOS, number one factor is the the I'm not saying mental disorders, but it's the emotional issue. Sometimes you're happy, you're ha you're 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 happy. Um, you're you're then there would be mood swings, then then suddenly. There will be tantrums, um, especially if you don't understand the condition. It's irritating. So you just have to either give up and saying, okay, just, just relax, take deep breath. Ask, if you ask her what's happening, she can't explain it. It's part of the mood swing. So that's the struggle that I've been, I've been seeing um, before Bajini came in. So it's the emotion that that uh, it's it, that's the grand prize. In fact, um, it, it it's true. Happy wife, happy life. Because if your wife is nagging you every day <laughs> about something which is impossible to give, that's a miserable life, guys. So so it's not because of you will be treating or you you will it will help manage people's lives. It's not. It's the emotion. The emotion of um, your wife will be able to hope, give back that hope of conceiving a child, giving back that hope that um, she can fulfill the dreams of having a family. So that's uh, something that needs to be taken care of. And we need to talk about it now. It's, it's not about soon, but it should be now. It should be now. So that, that actually helped us, especially with our married um, life with her mood swing, that definitely boosts up her confidence, um, her emotional battle with it. And now, I can clearly say, when I say ask her to, I'll go out with some of my friends to play ball, no more denials, guys. That, that's the best thing about having or managing that people's. And Gladys, no more crying at night. Because he knows it. Every night, I keep on crying. Then he will ask, why are you crying? I don't know. Yeah, the tears will just yeah. fell. I, 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 I kept asking myself, did I, did I satisfy her last night? Or did I, was I able to give her my best as a husband? So those, those are the things. Those are the questions probably you're thinking. And, and it's because of the mood swings. Well, I totally agree. Um, both of you are also one of the top recruiters in Emory Philippines. Um, share with me, is your success based on what people see in both of you? A happy, healthy family that does the business, uh, the same business together? 
um, yes, um, this is the practice that we've been um, doing because every time that people would think, how were you able to close those doctors? How were you able to, to close those impossible people? Um, what's your sales pitch? What I usually told them is, I'm not doing any sales pitch or, or whatsoever. We're, we're just talking and we, we we're just sharing our experience on how the product was able to help us, um, especially Vagine. Because when you're sharing, when you start sharing what your experience is, that's a different story because a lot of people would know if you're selling something to them. Yeah. So just share your story. Of course, I can't share um, what, how, or how Vagine works for me because I don't use Vagine. Um, my wife uses Vagine, so what I share is, is my um, experience of what I'm seeing to her emotionally on how it changed how we interact as a couple. And, and a lot of people, especially those who are we were meeting up with, um, especially those doctors, um, usually they'll ask what would be the ingredients and how, 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 how to use it and what's the price. But the, the, the main story here is it's not because of the product, but because what and how the product change our lives. That's why we can't really stop sharing it. Even during the trip, the cruise uh, trip, um, that, that Imeri sponsored, who, who, which Imeri chartered the entire cruise ship with all Imeris on board, I was able to close uh, business deals with, with waiters, with bartenders who are Filipinos. Um, because I was able to share how the business works. And I've learned as well that a lot of problems on, on board were with, with women who suffer from those types of issues. And that's why, good thing, we had products on board. I was able to give samples and they were able to try it. So that's actually how we share it. It's just a matter of you um, hitting the right, the right opportunity um, and not be sounding like a salesman. To share your experience, the, your experience that comes from the heart. Um, nobody can can tell you to stop when it comes from your heart. You will experience downfall. You will experience doubting about the company, about what's going to happen. But I always believe the end result is the sweetest thing. It's, I rather I rather work hard now, but I know in two years' time I'll be able to give my son the best life that he he will always have. That's the, the that's the result I'm looking for. In Emery, you can't buy position. You need to work hard for it in order for you to treasure it. That's what Emery is um, teaching us. It's not like other companies that you show lifestyle, you show luxury. It's not like that. I always tell my friends, you know, in this company, you will not see people bragging about their Louis Vuitton, bragging about their Rolex watch. You can't see anything about it in Emery in, in because like what the owners is always telling us, you just be simple and happy. Really. It's the reward that you can enjoy with Emery. You work now, you will harvest later, definitely. Well, I guess everything that you do is also for your son. Um, in saying that, is the Emery business a legacy or an asset that you intend to let your son inherit one day? And what will you be teaching him about entrepreneurship? Um, both, um, actually. It should be both legacy and an asset. Um, why? Legacy, it's because this is this is something that we have attained with our primary business. Again, on top of everything, you'll have your penthouse, you'll have your car, so you'll have um, the businesses. But the legacy that you'll be um, giving to him would be your father or your father and mother was able to help these people build 
their business, which is a business built to last, which is in LA. Um, those are assets that, that um, he will be enjoying inherit. soon and he will inherit soon. Um, the legacy, he would be creating his own legacy by means of helping um, people as well around him or people that he'll be encounter, that he would encounter in the future. Um, same thing that we're building right now. Um, um, earlier, we, we talked about the people that we trust who helped us succeed and, and not just succeed, but um, to succeed as well in this business. Um, I, as I always share it, that I will be leaving the lobby. Um, when you trust that people, and that people will actually grow. If that people grow, definitely you will grow because that's where your promotion is. If that person is not promoted, then definitely you can't be promoted. Too. So you develop that people, you develop that person, you develop the idea, you develop that attitude because positive attitude leads to positive results. That's probably the legacy that I'll be leaving with all. Plus, with, of course, the assets that she and I uh, will be getting. Her car, my car, probably the penthouse, another penthouse. Neighbors. So, we'll be neighbors. <laughs> yeah, well, for me, it's, it's a uh, legacy that um, we wanted him to, uh, uh, we wanted him to, to have, you know, just like what my father is doing as to us, my, my father Pastor Nav. First, I wanted to thank him because he showed us the path. He showed us how to do it and when to do it. That's the beauty of Emery, Emery, Emery business. For me, uh, for my son, I wanted him to just live the life that he wanted to live. He doesn't need to be a top honor on class and get a job to have a decent life it's not i want i don't i don't want him to have that i wanted him to enjoy and have a life that he wants if he wants to be an engineer a boxer a basketball player whatever we will not pressure him to be on top of his class. You don't need master of degree to, to be successful in Emory business. The only thing that you need to have is to be a people businessman. You know, M MLM or network marketing is a people's business. If you don't have a good relationship with your people, with your business partner, you will not have a business. So you need to be a legacy you need to give the legacy at the same time let him inherit or i don't want him to take advantage of what we work for that's why when he reached 18 i will let him do the business i wanted him to experience what we're experiencing him and what we're experiencing right now because i wanted him to treasure all the things that we work for well lastly how do you both motivate each other in the business? I mean, there will always be some high points and low points in your life doing the Emory business. How do you guys uh, keep up and motivate each other? Um, motivating each other actually comes, um, it, it comes from within. Especially for me, uh, the motivational part is Every time that, that we go to sleep or, or both of them are asleep, I always look at them and, and look at what should we bring tomorrow, um, what are the dreams that, that needs to be fulfilled, and it's just one step at a time. I know Robbie's growing faster. He'll probably go to school in the next year or so and uh, probably be given another child in the future so what motivates me more is is when when we are able to help a lot of people um, but of course ourselves first um, especially if there are certain times of uh, hardship in a sense of we were not able to close a certain uh, people because of 
after a certain issue, and that has been the ongoing issues for them for the cup uh, for the past uh, weeks. Um, we motivate each other by means of um, checking and tapping simple things. Uh, we're able to do this. We're able to do that. Just a simple reminder. That's that's the, just the basic for us as a motivator, and 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 uh, by making and means of saving more and more for Robbie and for the future, uh, that's that's something would 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 motivate us more in doing this business uh, further. So making sure that there there would be milk and diaper for for my little Robbie for now. So later for the educational plan and then. And for her lipstick, so, so and that that might sound crazy, but uh, trust me, uh, with all the time that you have now, because of uh, how Mary or, or how why why Mary gave us, and and how Mary gave us this all of the time, is something that I'm actually thankful of. Well, I need to motivate him every day, especially now that it's pandemic. You know, we need to. I I always reminding him, hey babe. Uh, we don't have milk. We don't have diaper already for hobby. <laughs> so that's his greatest motivation. That's the way I motivated him. And also we wanted, of course, to have our own place. Um, that's one of the motivation that we have right now every day. We, ha we wanted to have our own. Then I know Emery will give. And sometimes it's me who is always um, lacking of encouragement so it's it's my husband who always tell it's okay you know it's it's not always like that there will be days that it's more better than before so maybe because i'm a woman i'm vulnerable i'm you know very sensitive with things so it is always my husband who motivates me every day oh did you finish doing this um, he keeps on reminding me, did you call this person? Did you um, remind him about this thing? So it is always him who motivates me every day to do or finish the task that I need to do. Well, that is really awesome. Well, before we end, uh, do you guys want to share your advice about doing the business together as a couple? Just share it. Um, it's... It, there's a lot of differences when it comes to sharing and again sounding like a salesman to a, to a person that who know that, that already knows that you're selling something to them so our advice is um, as a couple just make sure that uh, always put um, um, God at first um, and everything would, would eventually follow um, pray that uh, there will be a good uh, a good uh, day the following or the next day um, even if this day was not um, so productive even if this day is not fruitful there's always the next day um, don't give up a simple setback uh, it's okay for you to, to cry at first or probably to, to endure the pain of that setback but uh, don't dwell on it um, always move on there's, the, there's always a tomorrow. Um, then we always say to them, as a couple, you should be sharing thoughts. You should be sharing your ups and downs, because that would that would um, really iron you to what you can become. Um, it's something that you could always um, share, and just just don't hesitate to ask. Always ask because if if ever that you keep on or you keep that question to yourself, if you will not be able to answer it, um, Google cannot answer that. Probably your wife can answer it. Probably um, another person can, could answer it. But don't hold it to yourself. Always ask. Always ask. That's really great. Well, from so many successful leaders and couples, uh, couples working as a family has its advantages. Um, both spouses understand each other uh, at the end of the day and if the couple knows each other better they know how to motivate each other and know how to comfort 
in times of the the down lows, you know. Um, I I know that we have at least three or four couples in the Emory business doing it as a couple together, and you guys really take the Emory family business to a whole new level. And the two of you are the living examples of the mission of the company, which is creating happiness for our people and family. So thank you so much, uh, RJ and Blessing. It is truly an honor to have you on this week's episode of Immerpreneur. In fact, both of you are actually the first couple to be interviewed for this show. <laughs> well, of yeah, course. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. And of course, before letting you go, I actually have prepared five trivia questions um, about the countries where Emory is operating in. So don't worry. I guess you guys. Uh, I think you guys can answer this well. Are you ready? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Awesome. Uh, first question: The one-child policy in China was enforced in 1980. My question is: Is it still in force, or abolished, or amended? I think it has been uh, uh, abolished. 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 Um, it has been abolished. Um, but the the reinforcement of that is of the three children, if I'm not mistaken, or twice. But that has been already been gone. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not sure if it has been. Uh, amended, but as far as when I was there, um, they need young generation. They need young generation, so probably yeah, I, allowing two children. Probably two or three children. Yeah. And then the letter yes. C is the <laughs> that is right. They have amended it to the two-child policy. <laughs> Good one. Next, Malaysia holds the record for having the oldest prime minister in the world. Who uh, who is right now 92 years and 141 days old? Can you name me that prime minister? Um, Mahat, Mahathir. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Correct. I'm thinking Gandhi. <laughs> 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 I think I remember his face uh, because during that time the the parliament he wanted to resign. Yeah. So I'm not sure what happened to it. So yeah. You got it right. It's Mahathir Mohamad. Perfect. There. Next, do you find earthquakes in Ghana? Earthquakes. Earthquakes. Um, I haven't heard earthquakes in Ghana. I haven't. Not unless the they use Bajin uh, all at the same time. Probably they'll, they'll have earthquakes. During, I don't think there's an earthquake in during, Ghana. No, there is during February 14, <laughs> Valentine's Day, when everyone uses Bajin, then that earthquake occurs. I think uh, that's please, a time different. I think that is a different kind of. Um, Earthquake, but <laughs> yes, actually they do have uh, earthquakes. In fact, they had an earthquake just last week, um, quite strong. I I heard. Yeah, but but <laughs> but they're actually good. Sorry, so I, I think uh, to be honest, I know that earthquake only happens when you use machine. <laughs> good one, good comeback. Next. Brunei, together with East Malaysia and the Indonesian Kalimantan, is located on what island? Borneo. Perfect. Yes. Yay. And the last Masilip. one. Masikato. <laughs> yeah. The last one is Nigeria and Niger the same country or different countries like North Korea and South Korea? Nigeria and. Niger. N I G E R. Niger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same country. Same country. Yeah. It's the same country, I think. No, they're not. They're actually two oh. different cu- countries. Um, Nigeria gained independence from UK, while Niger independence from France. That's why the pronunciation is Niger. It's French. French. <laughs> French. It's a French it's colony. Like- Messi buku. Messi buku. No, no, Messi just buku. like uh, <laughs> the one. Transverse. No, no, no. Morocco. 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 Yes. French. Uh, French. Uh, All right, you guys did pretty well on the trivia. Congratulations. 
Thank you so much for <laughs> That will be for the next few episodes of course. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. And for all for all our Emirians, please subscribe to the channel below and stay tuned for the next episode. Subscribe.